Hello people, welcome back. The question is from GATE 2015 exam and this one is for 2 marks. Now the statement might seem a bit lengthy but this one is not at all a difficult question. Just have a look once. They are saying consider a LAN with 4 nodes S1, S2, S3 and S4. Time is divided into fixed size slots and a node can begin its transmission only at the beginning of a slot. A collision is said to have occurred if more than one node transmits in the same slot. The probabilities of generation of a frame in a time slot by S1, S2, S3 and S4 are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 respectively. The probability of sending a frame in the first slot without any collision by any of these four stations is. Okay. So we want to send a frame in first slot such that a collision does not occur. This can be done in four ways. First way is only S1 is sending a frame. None of these three is sending frame. Okay. Second way is only S2 is sending data. Third way is only S3 is sending data. And fourth way is only S4 is sending data. None of these three is sending the data. Now let's find out the probability of this event. See, first method says only S1 must send data. Only S1 is sending data means the probability will be 0 0.1 because S1 is sending data. It can send data with this probability. Okay. Into 0 0.8 because S2 is not sending data. We want only S1 must send the data. So 1 minus 0 0.2 into 1 minus 0 0.3 into 1 minus 0 0.4. So this will be into 0 0.7 into 0 0.6. This is the probability that only S1 is sending data. Okay. Now another possibility is only S2 is sending data. That means 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into 1 minus 0 0.1, that is 0 0.9. Because in this case, we want only S2 must send data. So its probability is 0 0.2. S1 must not send data. That means 1 minus 0 0.1. Similarly, this one must not send data and this one also must not send the data. So it will be 1 minus 0 0.3 and this one will be 1 minus 0 0.4 which comes out to be 0 0.6. Okay. Similarly, you can just uh, write the probabilities of other two cases that is only S3 is sending data or only S4 is sending data and answer is this. Now please listen to my words carefully. See, first method is only S1 is sending data or second method is only S2 is sending data. I'm using or, okay. So that is the reason there is a plus between these two, okay. Similarly, other method is only S3 is sending data or only S4 is sending data. So there will be a plus between all of these four cases, okay. And why are we writing a multiply sign between these probabilities? It is because, so let's analyze the first method only. First method says, only S1 is sending data. That means S1 is sending and S2 is not sending and S3 is not sending and S4 is not sending. And means we have to multiply the probabilities. Okay. So you can just find out what the answer will be. I've written it here. You can confirm your answer. It must be 0 0.44. Okay. 